Well, we all know that the pandemic made all of us rethink the workplace. And even when it is finally behind us, virtual meetings are likely here to stay. Well, one woman saw that as an opportunity, and she hopes that her story will lead to more uh, women of Asian descent in the tech field. Here's race and culture reporter Crystal Cranmore. The COVID-19 pandemic opened a new era of workforce digital communication from boardroom to chat room to virtual reality. One of the biggest challenges that organizations have seen in the last two years is although employees have been productive, um, they don't feel engaged with the organization. Amy Kim is the CEO of Yugo, a new virtual reality events company. Yugo is redefining virtual meetings. Breaking out the traditional environment and making your experience more immersive and engaging. It really is an individual like yourself sitting in a virtual room, but also your um, peers or your colleagues or your, your organization sitting in the room there together. Launching the program, an exciting venture for Kim, one of the few Asian women in tech leadership. Of the 30% of women working in tech, Asian women make up about 16% of that number, while black and Hispanic women account for 9 and 8% respectively. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The lack of representation, not a deterrent for Kim. There were no Asian women selling software. And I said to myself, why not? Born in South Korea, Kim has been in the tech industry for 25 years, starting at companies like Microsoft and Google, overcoming barriers along the way. There is stereotypes of, of that about Asian women um, being submissive. Um, clearly, um, I don't fit that profile. Her advice to other women, particularly those of Asian descent, looking to break into the industry? I really encourage people to be persistent. And, and not lose hope. Right now, Yugo is available to companies to take part in virtual meetings. Kim hopes to expand the program's use for consumers in the future. 